I just thought, why he still hasn't decided yet? Isn't he 30 years old and still a bachelor? Doesn't Esperanza get tired of waiting? She does not seem to be in a hurry either. How can a woman be in a hurry when the man doesn't hurry her? Do you remember how much in love they were? In love? With whom? Of course, with Esperanza. As I know, has not had any relationship before. What I mean is that at the beginning, they were filled with poems, flowers, serenades, notes, and things like that. Papa, what do you think is happening? I suppose long engaged people are like that. Warm now, cool tomorrow. And for now that they are in cold season, it shows that an argument has been allowed to prolong itself. Argues between persistence and affection. And things like that to mention all. It's natural for being of a relationship. Besides, he's old enough to do such things like that. Hmm. The time must already pass by him. Esperanza, do you know this song? I know that song. Does Hello My Baby by Arthur Collins. You always know what are my favorite songs are. Of course. In many years, I've been with the most beautiful woman in the world. I already know what your favorites are and errand. Wait a minute. Have you decided where we'll get married? I thought you'd want to set the wedding the next month. Mm, I think we can get married in Nagreb Khan where my father lives. I'm sure Mama was very happy when she found out we were getting married there. Good idea! So if that's my loved ones, then I'll just call Papa to let them know that we'll get married in Nagreb Khan. Alfredo has already told his family that their wedding will be held in Nabgregan. That night, the two including Alfredo's family, they went to Nabgregan where the wedding will be held. It's already 5 in the evening when they finally reach their destination. Welcome back, my dear child. Alfredo, we'll finally marry my daughter. Dad! What's wrong, my dear? Oh, Julian, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much, Francisco. So, where's Soledad? Is she in her garden? Yes, she's just too busy right now because this month is harvest season. Oh, okay. I'll go there. I want to choose some roses for Isabella. Where is Isabella, Julian? Isabella? We are not with her right now, but she's going to the wedding. Okay, I understand. By the way, Iho, Iha, fix your things first because dinner is also coming. Thank you, Tito. The couple left to fix their belongings. A few hours later, Francisco called them not to eat, but to fetch Soledad, Esperanza's mother, which is in the garden. They used the horse because it was faster if they just walked. While riding, the two decided to go to Francisco's farm first to have fun. It was about 7 o'clock when they got home, exactly at the dinner. Everyone is enjoying the meal when
Alfredo, I thought I would be 50 before you got married. What is the reason and it took 4 years before you consider getting married? Hmm. Tito, it's just a bad schedule. Since I'm in Madrid for my business and we decided that do not hasten the marriage. But don't worry, our wedding will continue next month. Yes, Papa. We decided to don't hasten our marriage and also we're too young to get married. Lastly, we don't want to always depend on you and Mama and also to Tito Julian. Good to hear that coming from both of you. By the way, how's the trip? Did you have difficulty in riding the train? I heard that the Americans had tightened their security at the terminal. You said it. We waited at the terminal for an almost an hour. Because they think that those rebels might attack the terminal. Luckily, no rebels attacked the terminal. Anyway, let's talk about the wedding. Esperanza, what are your wedding plans? Where do you want to get married? Is that something to wear? Do you need help? I know many people who can make your gown. Alfredo, you, what will you wear to the wedding? What do you need? Say. Dad, we're fine. We already fixed that issue a month ago so nothing to worry about. Right, Alfredo? Yes, Tito. Nothing to worry about. Okay, you both are really reliable. I'm sorry. I'm just excited to see you both at the altar, telling vows to each other, etc. It's okay, Francisco. Like you, we are also excited too about the wedding. After the conversation about the wedding, the dinner is finally over. Around 9 o'clock, Esperanza's parents began to sleep, followed by Don Julian. The couple decided to go outside first. They also went to bed around 12 o'clock in the morning. About 3 in the morning, Alfredo woke up with no reason, so he got up first to get some fresh air. It's really peaceful here in the province. There is school, peaceful, and... You are right there. We also often go here so I can forget my problems. You, how are you, mister? Alfredo, my name is Alfredo. Nice to meet you. Julia, call me Julia. Nice to meet you, Julia. So what brings you here? Is there a problem with you? Nothing. I'm just here just to be refreshed. It's easier to fall asleep when you feel fresh. That's good for you. The two enjoyed the night. The conversation ended around 5 o'clock. They didn't notice the time, so Alfredo was very tired today. Alfredo, wake up! We still have a lot to take her off for our wedding. Can we just do it tomorrow? Why? You alright? Are you sick? Come, I'll take you to the hospital. No, I just have a headache. Thanks, Esperanza. Okay. A few days later, Alfredo finally fell in love with Julia. He seemed to have found the love he had just felt in any other woman in the world with Julia. The stars are shining bright tonight, Julia, just like you. I'm so grateful to be with you, Alfredo. You'll always be my senorita, and let the stars be our witness. I'll always love you, my precious star. Alfredo, come on and check this. Looks like you're in a hurry again. Are you going somewhere? Oh, in Speranza, no, I'm just going outside to take a ride. I'm just helping Tito. Also, what's that? Is that the dress that you will wear in our wedding? Yes, Alfredo. You like it? Yes, my love. Wait, have you tried it? Can I see my future wife in that dress? Sure. Um, by the way, who is the girl with you yesterday? My friends told me that you are with other girl in the park. That girl? It just got lost. I just helped her. I'm sorry. Maybe something else will happen when the night falls. Sorry, my love. You sure? Sure, my love. 
and also, why are you not home last night? I'm so worried that the Americans may think that you're a rebel. You should know that. Don't worry, my love. The police officer here knows me. And Speranza, he heard about the woman. And he knew I was not a rebel. Thank goodness. Just tell me when you leave so I don't worry. Okay, and Speranza. I thought to come to help dad in the fields. Oh, okay. Goodbye, Esperanza. Take care always. Esperanza's doubt about her boyfriend seemed to have disappeared. Alfredo and Julia continue to love each other. Julia, I hope you are having a great time. Very much. It looks like home to me. May I ask, where do you exactly live, Julia? I'd like to see your house. There's nothing to see. Little crook streets, bunut roofs with growing ferns on them, sometimes squashes. Nothing? But there's you. Who? Me? But I'm here. I will not go there, of course, until you are there. You're such a funny guy. By the way, I have something to give you. Before that, close your eyes. Close your eyes, don't cheat. Now, open your eyes. Wow, this is so beautiful, just like you. Did you make it? Yes, Alfredo. I always go here to pick some pearls. Then I found that the star besides this log. I promise to give this star to the person that will love me, and that's you. Thank you so much, Julia. Promise, I will never lose this star. This will remember our relationship will be forever. Their love is really unstoppable. Anyway, the next day, Carmen visited Esperanza to talk about the wedding. Carmen, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Esperanza. Aren't you busy for your approaching wedding? My brother is not busy as well. I never see you and my brother doing the plans for the wedding this past few days. Oh, Carmen, there's nothing to worry about. I think your brother has many things to do, but I assure you, he's planning for our wedding. Okay, I understand. But last time, I heard some rumors that he seems very busy singing and talking to other women, and... Carmen, you said that it's just a rumor. I trust your brother. I love him. But I was confused, Esperanza. At first, he was very crazy over you. He gave you his whole time, gave you anything, but now... He seems to be tired of... Carmen, listen. He's just busy. I understand that we'll be together for the rest of our lives. Oh wait! I'm going to meet the caterer. Come with me and help me to pick which food are the best for our wedding. Let's go! Sure! You're not going to see that girl again. You understand, Alfredo? Papa? Forget about that woman and make time for Esperanza. Yes, Papa, because she's my fiancé. Yes, Alfredo. Esperanza is your fiancé, so you will honor her. What do you think her family would say if the wedding will be cancelled? You've been engaged to Esperanza for four years. And think about our family's reputation, Alfredo. I understand, Papa. I love Esperanza, and the wedding will never be cancelled. Good. Be a good man. After Don Julian told Alfredo to stop seeing Julia, Alfredo didn't listen to what his father said. That night also, Alfredo and Julia are going to meet at the beach as usual. But then, some things have changed. Where is Julia? She said that we must meet me at 11. Alfredo wait until 12 for Julia, but suddenly, his fiancé just woke up all of a sudden. She did not find his fiancé, so she thinks that he is in the beach. She was not mistaken. 
she saw his fiance sitting on a log near the sea. She went to it when... Julia, my love, what do you think? Who's Julia? Is she the girl your sister told me about? In Esperanza. Uh, um, what do you think? Is that a beautiful name for our future child? Hmm, I think that's the good name. Thanks, Esperanza. By the way, what was my sister told you about that, Julia? I don't know any here that has name Julia. There's nothing, Alfredo. You like it? The beach? Oh, yes, I like it. Especially the wind every night. It relaxes the feeling especially when you are upset. You, Esperanza, isn't it fun to breeze tonight? Yes, Alfredo. I remember then, my dad and I always played here from morning to night. Here we even had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. One day, we will give our child a love she needs. What's the name you think of? Julia? Yes, Julia. For the second time, Alfredo was able to get away with cheating on his fiancé. How long can Alfredo do this? How long will he sail on two rivers? The answer is some Alfredo only. Today, Alfredo and Julia will meet for the last time. On the same place, Julia met Alfredo, but the girl is restless. You don't know what's going on with her, so Alfredo has her. Are you okay? Is someone trying to hurt you? I'm okay, Alfredo. But you remember that I said to you that I buried some treasures of our family? I want to get that because I need to pay my debts. The two hurried to the place Julia was referring to. They went through the forest because they seemed to be closer there. Are we still far away? No, Alfredo. We're near and where we are going. It was about 2 o'clock when they reached the place where Julia was said to be hiding the treasure. Alfredo, this is where I buried the treasure. Sure. The two plowed, plowed here, plowed there, until Alfredo hit something. Assuming it was the treasure, Alfredo became more and more interesting in plowing until they finished digging the whole area around 4 o'clock. When Alfredo was about to take the treasure, he felt some bones. Julia, why are there corpses here? Are you sure you have this treasure? It is bad to steal. How can I say this? Alfredo, listen to me. Don't be afraid after hearing this. Alfredo, I'm the corpse in holding the treasure. Huh? Don't fool me. Are you a thief? You will even include me in your nonsense? I'm telling the truth, Alfredo. I know it's incredible, but I've been dead for a long time. They killed me, Alfredo. They even killed my family. We have no opponent against the guns of the Spaniards. Sorry if this is the only way I can think of just to help me get to heaven. Did I fall in love with a ghost? Sorry about that, Alfredo. I'm thankful for you. My family and I will be at peace where we deserve to be. As a thank you, you will take care of it. It's up to you what you do with it. Again, thank you very much. Remember, I'm just always the brightest star in the sky from now on. Until again.